Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Happy New Year. I hope y'all's uh, year is off to an amazing start. Thank you so much for being here. Coming back if you've been here before. Let's get into it y'all. General reading for you all. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. Get the past, present, or future energy with someone else around you. I am picking up on. I'm seeing Sagittarius here. You can have Sagittarius placement. Sagittarius season could be significant. Or you, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius in some capacity. I'm seeing Saturn, the planet of responsibility and discipline. Okay, that's Capricorn energy. Capricorn is your opposite sign, right? Yeah. And then we have the number two. Some of you can have a choice between two people, maybe a Capricorn and a Sagittarius. So somebody could be on the, what is it? Sagittarius, Capricorn cusp in your energy. There's some kind of decision you're making, choice you're making. And it looks like it could have something to do with um, higher education with Sagittarius being there. Could be about a job with um, Saturn being there, very career focused. Or it could be love. Let's see. But the twos represent duality, represent choices. It represents contrast, okay? We have the star, Aquarius energy. It's got a faith, hope, healing, optimism, manifesting your dreams, having the confidence to go after what you want, light at the end of the tunnel and knowing that anything is possible, okay? What's coming that you don't see? The hermit. Two majors. Virgo energy is here. Some soul searching. Some spiritual enlightenment. Seeing a lot of spiritual work going on for you. Challenge for you. The high priestess. This is your major. Cancer energy. The initials B or J could be significant. I said that this is contrast. Choices. The high priestess is the number two and she guards the gate and as you can see she has one black pillar one white pillar she definitely sits between worlds okay this is the conscious and the subconscious mind at play here the physical world the spiritual world at play here so you've got a lot going on you've got all majors so far i don't think i ever did a reading with all majors outcome is the knight of swords okay season the moment here you could be on the gemini cancer cusp that's a gemini card this is about communication and taking action, the power of the mind, being really intelligent, brave, <laughs> maybe not thinking before you act when it comes to something. Let's see what that's all about. What's the star? The star is the strength card. Look at all these majors with the six of swords. You have spirit guides all up and through your reading. You have, I'm seeing three cards of spirit guides here. Aquarius and Leo energy. This card is all about taming. It's a card of persuasion and influence. It's also a card of peacemaking. I feel like you've made your peace with something and you're moving on from it. And you're healing right now. There's some major healing taking place for you. And you have a lot of spirit guides around you. A lot. Some of you are uh, kind of learning how to hold back. Not argue. Not give... Um, not operate in extremes. And it feels like there's like smooth sailing coming in. You could be moving... You could be going on a cruise. You could be traveling. Um, some hard part of your life is over. You're moving on from it. Six of Swords talks about releasing a trauma bond as well. So this is a relationship that could be who this, this Knight of Swords is. I don't know, Cancer. But this could be somebody that was really hard to resist. But you're learning how to do it and you're moving forward. Or this could be somebody who was resisting you. Could be a Leo. Okay, what is the hermit? What you don't see coming? The nine of wands in reverse. You're giving up on something or someone. And that's the Sagittarius card. This could be a Sagittarius. That may be what your choice is. Focusing on your responsibilities and being disciplined. Just like the, um, the energy of Saturn. This is a card of discipline, self-control, inner strength, fortitude. That was the original name for that card. Nine of swords. So you got two nines here. Very independent energy. Clarifying the hermit, which is the number nine of the major. So you could be saying a lot of nines. Four, four, four on the time of what I just looked up. Yeah. Um, there is something here that has been stressing you out, keeping you up at night. Spirit is saying right now you have to go within and do some soul searching to release something here that's been really draining you. 
Okay, something you've been reluctant to release because the nine of wands in reverse talks about reluctance. Some of you, you feel used by someone. It talks about feeling jealous. It talks about feeling used. Um, it's like fighting a losing battle. It's a closed-minded energy. And Spirit wants you to do some soul searching and some truth seeking here. This could also be counseling. Just unplugging maybe from social media or something here. Some of you also watch like the blue light from your phone keeping you up at night. Okay, so I'm seeing Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo. Mutable signs. Okay, so let's see what this high priestess is about as the challenge. Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. I just heard financial imbalance with the Ten of Cups. This is about your family. This might be a choice between two people. You could be choosing between a, a Pisces and a Virgo. doesn't have to be, but there could be like a practical choice and then there could be like a hard choice here for you. You're definitely making some kind of choice this week. I feel like um, this might be kind of some kind of head over heart decision. Okay. But this talks about shattered dreams. This talks about like being with someone and not having sh shared values with them. Things just not going according to plan, like your dreams just getting crushed, okay? Something you thought was your happily ever after not panning out the way you thought it would. The Ten of Pentacles can talk about disputes in the family over money, okay? A lot of disharmony in a family dynamic, especially in regards to money. What's the Knight of Swords as your outcome? If someone here who wants to talk to you, yeah, there could be an Aquarius or a Gemini here who wants a new start with you, wants to take a leap of faith your way. Somebody wants some honest communication with you, or that could be you. The temperate, somebody wants to make peace with you. Wow. Two more majors. You have a lot of majors on the table. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's crazy. Out of 12 cards, half of them are majors? Yeah, it's like somebody wants to make peace with you. I'm telling you here, this is a peacemaker as well. Somebody might want to heal a connection with you, Cancer. And this could be a person that puts you through a lot. And, and I don't think you're going to... Um, well, let's see. Will you give them another chance? You might. Page of Cups. I'm seeing an apology. Oh, no. The Seven of Wands with the Queen of Wands. No. They're going to apologize to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you. You could be on the Cancer Leo cusp. I see you blocking... This person and I see you moving forward. Aries energy. This could be playing out over the next week. Look at this. Look what you're going towards. You're going towards your divine union. Your counterpart. Wow. Aries Leo energy. And then look what's under that. The two of cups. <laughs> That's you. This is you. Yeah. You have a soulmate coming in. Ooh, judgment. Magician. King of cups. You have a, a soulmate coming in. Um, it could be an Aries, a Leo, another Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. Let's get um, a chakra card for you. A chakra card for... You got two. I'll take two. So we... Oh, no, I'm not taking all those. That was three. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Just one, please, Spirit. I haven't broken these cards in yet, y'all. I just came from the store, and these cards were in the store. And they came in a, a kit with some other things, and it was only $2.99. I'm like, how can I pass this up? How? Let's use this one here. We have the first chakra, the base chakra, which is what fell out before. Okay, so you needed to hear this. Independence. Wow. Didn't I tell you that you're moving forward? This is Miss Independent right here, okay? <laughs> Being really bold in your face, loud and proud. I love it. Um, it says independence. I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and protect. I'm sorry. I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. Yeah, that's living in the moment. This card is all about living in the moment. And this is how you're going to attract this king of wands. Somebody is really fine. They're going to spoil you. They're going to compliment you. They're going to lavish you with gifts. They're going to treat you like a queen. Okay. Um. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. Absolutely. Queen of Wands is very strong. 
and she's very independent and self-sufficient so this is you being bold and this is what brings in your true counterpart but there is someone else in your energy who's still um pursuing you could be a gemini this person could be slightly younger than you but they're very immature whoever they are and it's taking a lot to resist them but spirit is telling you here your intuition is right here Listen to your intuition, okay? You could have a family with this person. You could be married to them. You could live with them. Whatever the case, you have a choice here. Because I feel like there is this Ten of Cups, this shattered energy here. And then I feel like you have a potential for your Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Cups with someone else. Could be a Leo, okay? All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Happy New Year. Peace.